Did you know Theta Pond was a popular spot for lovers even as far back as the 1930s? This is the love story of Russell Pearson and his Aggie princess Bernice Strom. In an interview recorded in 2010 with the Oklahoma Oral History Research Program at the OSU Library, Pearson looks back on Theta Pond and the Aggie princess he would later marry. What do you, what do you remember about Theta Pond? What was Theta Pond like then? Anything like it looks like today? Uh, Theta Pond was in existence. Uh, it was kind of a lover's place, mm-hmm. which I didn't get to go to very much. <laughs> but until 1933, when uh, the time came for elect the royalty of the, the Department of Agriculture. A bunch of us old kids that couldn't afford to belong to a fraternity got together and decided we are going to run a candidate for Aggie Princess, which was the same as Aggie Queen. We did. Our chief competition was the girl that worked in the Dean of Agriculture's office, a student. In those days, uh, the professors could vote on the Aggie Princess the same as the students which most of them did, and you know where the vote was cast. But we won for five votes. <laughs> Close race. Close race, yes sir. So my, my blonde-headed girl, who was the candidate, Bernice Strom, was the Aggie Queen or Aggie Princess, whichever you wish to call it, in 1933. So after that, we visited uh, Theta Pond occasionally, yes. <laughs> well, now, i, I got to get the rest of the story. Did, did you know Bernice before you, you know, b- before you run her for queen? And had you, had you well, yeah, I, knew her before, I didn't know her before she started school. I was a junior when she started school in the fall of 32. And she was from a wheat and cattle farm over near Perry. So we had some things in common, and besides that, she was a beautiful blue-eyed blonde. I wouldn't say it was love at first sight, but boy, it sure was attraction at first sight. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. And romance developed after that. We had three years of romance before we got married. Her daddy had told her, said, now, girls your age sometimes get married kind of early. Said, uh, if, if I send you to a and you got to promise to teach school two years before you get married. <laughs> so she did. She got a one-room schoolhouse five years, five miles from her home, and she taught school two years. School was out on Friday, and there was a wedding on Sunday. Russell Pearson graduated from Oklahoma A&M in 1937. After working in extension, Pearson accepted a position as a farm broadcaster for WKY radio and television in 1959, becoming one of the most recognizable media personalities in Oklahoma. To view more interviews from Oklahoma A&M and OSU alumni, visit us online at www.library.okstate.edu slash oral history.